Subscribe, Young Z TV. Whack 100, describing cash money contract. That's the deal I've never seen in my life. If I wouldn't have read it. I wouldn't have believed it. I'd have told Stunner, you're lying. i seen the deal. He gave that man a deal. I bet no artist in the motherfucking world has ever had. That nigga deal read as such. First of all, Wayne got 10 million advance each album. Let's start there. It's for his pocket. Damn. We ain't talking about nothing else. From my studio beat for his pocket. Then the motherfucker read this. Lil Wayne is to receive whatsoever he desires. Any overage is to apply recoup towards the cash money catalog. I've never seen it in Damn, my life. What that means. That's why I was stunned to say he loved that little nigga like his son. I don't fucking question it. Because I've yeah, never seen deep. no shit like that in my life. That's like an unlimited that budget. That shit is crazy. What that's the, the golden that, You can't even, I don't even go there. Right. <laughs> they don't even go together. So yeah, that's some shit. No business that hey, Wack. Hey, Wack. So why was, uh, why was Wayne like mad that uh, Stunner didn't pay him the money and all that shit? Okay. So this is what happened with that ordeal. You just heard what the contract was, right? So since Wayne was about 12, 13, 14, however old he was, Wayne, he walking the Rolls Royce dealer. Yeah, I want them Rolls Royce. Yeah, I need the whole floor to W. Give me a jet, whatever, whatever. They paying. They never stop paying the bag. So he ordered a Brinks truck, I believe, because Wayne's always doing it. He ordered damn. a Brinks truck for his money. That's what he do. Bring me half a million, man, whatever. He ordered a Brinks truck. Brinks truck is late. I don't know if the label was late calling. I don't know whatever it was. The other way it go, he said something to the label and said, yo, y'all owe me. When you say shit like that, all break stop, I did. So the oh, time you seen it took for Wayne to get paid is because they had to go back 12, 13, 14 years, and now I did. Now it then went back to what it's supposed to be. We got to audit. This album, what we gave you, what we recouped. This album will be gave and recoup. This album will be gave and recoup. This album will be gave and recoup. Now, I will say this. I'm not going to tell you what the outcome of that was. I know what it was. But we can all say we never heard Lil Wayne complain no more. That's a fact. That's a now, fact. I'll leave that right there. Hey, that's a you fact. Never heard, you never heard somebody jumping up and down in the air saying they got any number, right? Right. I'm gonna leave that right there. Damn, I'm gonna leave that right there. Brinks truck was late. What happened with the Drake situation? With the Drake and J Prince situation? What happened there? Ooh, that's interesting. Oh wow, I'm glad you said that. I would love to hear. Drake was never signed directly to Young Money. Drake is signed to J Prince Jr.'s son, Jazz Prince. Right, and another individual over there. The same shit you heard with Lil Wayne. The same shit happened over there. When the audit was done, money was distributed. Now, I will correct them people here. Birdman never had nobody's money. Birdman's job is to sign off after the audit of the money. Right. But until the audit of the money is done, Stunner can't sign off on shit. Once UMG audited all this shit you dealing with a different monster over you talking about a nigga that thing this nigga at the time this this nigga stunner had never even recouped any all the album spins he had in the world he had never even recouped that it was just sitting there he never even touched the shit damn right so once the audit was done then stunner and slim goes in look what his accountants goes over it goes over it goes over it Okay, I'm just gonna throw numbers out there. All right, uh, because I think they, uh, uh, Josh Prince, like he was old, like I think he ended up like 12 million, 15 million, or something. So now it comes down. So let's say it's 30 million, right? Okay, over here is 30 million on the Drake side, right? Watch this. Now, Birdman's deal with Josh Prince, whatever it may be, Birdman, like, say, okay, it was 30 million, I'm at 30 percent on cash money. Nine million stay with me. Here go to 21 million, Mr. Prince. He don't know what 
Prince deal is with Drake. That's their business. He don't know what that is. Same rule apply with Ashante and Irv versus Ashante and Def Jam. Mm. Def Jam don't know what the fuck Irv deal is. That's their business. Yeah, that's why Pusha T was Separate. talking all that everybody in your pocket shit when it, when it came to Drake. Exactly. No, he wasn't lying. So he was he talking that. <laughs> John Prince, Young Money. Now, remember, it's a little different because Young Money is one company and Cash Money is another company. One side is Lil Wayne's the CEO. The other side, Birdman's the CEO. Right. So you got Josh Prince, his indie. Lil Wayne, his indie. Stunner, his indie. Republic, oh. Then you got UMG. Damn. Then you got the artist. Well, I'm telling Paula that shit like kick back. This shit is what it is. Like it ain't y'all looking and reading and going off with a Balls. half them artists talking don't even know what the fuck they talking about. Right. You can't move in the